Well, I got some great news today. I've reached 2,000 subscribers. And I just want to thank everyone who helped me reach this far. And also, thanks for the memories. Okay, so maybe some of us didn't have some good memories. But that's the name of the episode, so let's take a look at this. And I'll fly. Well, we start off with Rainbow Dash flying around with Tank, and we see Cloudsdale coming into Ponyville. I always thought Cloudsdale would stay still. I didn't know it was a moving place. Also, we get to see the running of the leaves again, and I like how this actually helps get ready for winter instead of it just being an event to get rid of the leaves. Also, I was always so curious on how they get winter ready. Like, sure, we see winter wrap up in season one, but I was always curious on how they set up winter. And since it's the same writer who did winter wrap up, now we can see how they get winter ready. Also, we see Rainbow Dash thinking of so many plans to have fun with Tank, but the poor thing looks exhausted or maybe it's his time oh, you stink! not his time for what you think i mean it's time to hibernate and even dr fluttershy says so he's just going to hibernate you do realize he's not a bear right <laughs> see now embarrassing as that sounds i always thought bears were the only creatures that hibernate too when i was little so this will be a good lesson for the younger audience and see even tortoises do it when the time comes Tank will leave and dig into the ground. Apparently though, some pony is in denial. Come on! Tortoises don't hibernate! Some pony put that picture in there as a joke. It's not a joke. Well then your book must be wrong! So Rainbow Dash thinks of the another plant to go to another reptile she knows. And that's Spike. Even though this is the only scene we see Spike in, it's still nice to see him in the episode. Also, we see that Spike has his own room, and I'd like to see more of the world. And we see that Tank is almost getting ready to hibernate. Don't Oh, sorry. What are you looking at? I'm not looking at anything, I'm just- Pinkie Pie and I are just having a conversation! Rainbow Dash, I think you have an anger problem, and I know why you're upset. There's no need to be- Who said anything about anger? I didn't say anything about anger! I'm not upset, and I am not angry! Do I look angry? Might I consider an appointment for you for a certain someone? I like the scene so much, like I know she's in denial, she can't face the fact, and it's hard to say goodbye to something. I love that face she shows when she's angry. Also, here's one of the references I was talking about. So, where do these clouds go? Over by clear skies. But there's clear skies everywhere. Yo, clear skies right here. But there's clear skies over there too. That's open skies. There's open skies everywhere. I'm not everywhere. I'm right here. <sighs> Wait, so you're open skies, and you're clear skies, then what's all that? Open, Open clear, clear skies. skies! Hey! Where did our fluffy clouds go? Fluffy clouds? He's over there! <laughs> That's awesome. Did you notice it? Let's look at it again, and then after we'll put the actual clip. So, where do these clouds go? Over by clear skies. But there's clear skies everywhere. Yo, clear skies right here! But there's clear skies over there too! That's open skies! There's open skies everywhere! I'm not everywhere. I'm right here! Hey! Where'd our fluffy clouds go? Fluffy clouds? He's over there! <laughs> what is the fella's name on third base? What is the fella's name on second base? I'm not asking you who's on second! Who's on first? I don't know! Third, third base! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> You got an outfield? Oh, sure. St. Louis has got a oh, good outfield? Absolutely. The left fielder's name? Why? I don't know. I just thought I'd ask you. Well, I just thought I'd tell you. That never gets old. And we're on to another song of the season, and... You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. You really are a heel. You're as cuddly as a cactus. You're as charming as an eel, Mr. Grinch. You're a bad banana with a greasy black peel. Nah, I'm kidding. That's not the actual song. But it suits it though, right? No, but the actual song is pretty quite interesting. And it's the first time we hear Rainbow Dash doing a solo. And even though, yeah, she's trying to stop Winter, but she's doing it for Tank. I mean, we do crazy things too to help our friends out, right? When we don't want them to leave. Also, Ashley did a great job doing this as Rainbow Dash. And as Rainbow Dash tries, they just keep coming in with more clouds. So her plan is to stop Winter. 
again, from Cloudsdale. And also, I like how we see more of how Cloudsdale works. Too bad I can't fly, though. Oh, if only I had wings, though. And soon, Rainbow Dash finds a way to sabotage Winter. And as I said before, yes, we see a lot of things, like we see people planning to sabotage something, but then in the end, they sabotage themselves and they get into trouble. And yes, I know she's doing it for Tank. Also, here's another reference. Winter is coming. Is this whole season gonna be about references? Uh oh, everyone, watch out for the snow nuke! Kaboom! Okay, well, this nuke didn't really kill everyone, but they brought Winter early, and that upsets Rainbow Dash. So her friends come in and try to help. Knock, knock. What the? Where'd you come from? So her friends try to help her out by cheering her up, but since Rainbow Dash is still depressed about tanks, she just ignores them. Until Fluttershy has the best medicine. Rainbow Dash? Your winter is going to be petless. <laughs> Whatever did you do that for? Because she'll never get past this until she lets it all out. She has a good point there. Yeah, it's first time we see Rainbow Dash cry a lot. And sure, Fluttershy does sound mean, but she does have a good point on helping Rainbow Dash. I just hope Rainbow Dash will get through this. <laughs> Now, I, I kind of really didn't cry at this point, but I'm surprised Twilight and Applejack didn't cry either. Applejack cries on the inside! It's true. Oh, well then, carry on. This part over here, though, did kind of make me cry a bit. Oh, Tank, I'm sure gonna miss you. No, 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 that's not how it ends. <laughs> I'm sure gonna miss that turtle. Tortoise. Don't ruin the moment. So, we see that every pony is enjoying winter early, and hey, is that a male Scootaloo playing hockey? And then we end with every pony saying goodbye to Tank. Goodbye, Tank. And even though they're saying goodbye to Tank because it's his time to hibernate, it almost treats it like it's his time to, uh, I won't say it in case some people went through it. I really like this episode though, and we see Rainbow Dash going through the five stages of grief. Come on! Tortoises don't hibernate! Do I look angry? Well, I'd rather have him awake in the heat than asleep in the cold. How are you feeling, Rainbow Dash? Whatever. I'm sure gonna miss you. This was a great episode, and like I said, I'll always be looking forward to the next episodes. Also, congratulations, Cindy. You just made a great episode. I'm Tara Hoof, and I'll see you all next time. And I'll fly, and I'll fly. Hey, wait a minute! Isn't Angel supposed to hibernate too?